So hi again, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week episodes uh, with, the, uh, with the holidays and Christmas fast approaching uh, is meant to answer one of the most important um, questions in science is out there and it's what to get the pathologist, the neuropathologist on your wish list for Christmas or for the holidays. Um, and for that we, uh, we're going to review and unbox this uh, great product uh, by Goski. It's a smartphone uh, digiscoping adapter and it's really meant to convert a archaic microscope into a digital recording device. Uh, so this is a really good way to help um, uh, an old or uh, kind of ancient pathologist uh, uh, fast forward into the 21st century with this, uh, with this device that allows you to uh, take photos and uh, videos of uh, what you see under the microscope uh, using uh, any any smartphone device. So uh, let's take a closer look and see uh, if this is something worth uh, buying. So uh, this is what the box looks like. So I bought this on Amazon for um, $20 uh, prime shipping you can get it uh, within one or two days so just just uh, plenty of time for the holidays if this is something uh, right for uh, someone on your list um, pretty simple packaging just a white box um, inside the box you'll find a, um, a nice ziploc bag with all the uh, components of this gadget and there is um, a nice uh, uh, brochure that comes with it uh, showing you um, product details of how to attach it to various uh, optical devices. Um, so it's not just compatible with microscopes, but other uh, um, binoculars and uh, other uh, kind of devices that you would use to explore distant galaxies, but also um, things at the microscopic level. So quite a versatile device. Um, here we have an iPhone, but of course you can use it with any phone. Um, uh, here we give you some of the dimensions, uh, but uh, of course uh, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the actual um, uh, demo. So um, really good, really good instructions. So um, don't fear not. Um, there are plenty of um, instructions to make sure that this is working just right. So in terms of the actual product. Um, you see there's there's uh, there's three pieces here um, so you have this um, main um, component here this this is going to as we see install on the um, uh, eyepiece of the uh, microscope um, this right here is just to help you align it with your microscope as we'll see uh, when we when, when we're installing it oh. This is, of course, what's going to hold your phone, and this uh, screw is meant just to uh, keep everything all in all intact. So let's just put this together here. So so it's pretty pretty self-explanatory, um, pretty simple device, but that doesn't matter because uh, that's uh, not what we care about. We care about how good it is. So. Um, this will adjust to kind of any phone. Uh, here we're installing the phone and so as you can imagine we're gonna line it up with our camera and as you can see the camera of the phone is going to um, peer into the eyepiece and we're going to be able to um, look into the into the microscope as, as we would be able to. So uh, let's let's uh, let's take it and see how it works. So here we are in the lab uh, looking at some uh, cells and of course uh, it's very difficult for me to show you because this microscope um, doesn't have a external monitor for me to share what I'm seeing in, the, in, in, this, uh, in these binocular pieces. So this is where this gadget uh, really shines so uh, if you come over here I'll show you how uh, to install and um, use it. So. Uh, as you see, we put the vise on one of the two eyepieces. We screw it in, just like that. And then the goal is to move this 
eye guard, so it's about halfway there, and that just helps, as you can see, guide where the phone will go. Once we do that, we can take it off. We can reach into our pocket, grab our phone, slide it into the phone holder. Fasten it. Then we align the camera with the we turn on the camera. We'll reinstall this thing on and then we zoom in with the camera like that. We can do some minor adjustments. But there you have it. You can see uh, right through the uh, uh, eyepiece and into the, the microscopic world and you can see you can move it around. Uh, the focus stays quite nicely. These are uh, nice cells. If I wanted to record a video, I can just do it like that. And uh, this is really the power of this, of this little gadget here is that um, you've now turned this uh, very simple um, uh, microscope into a uh, digital recording device um, so there you have it hopefully uh, uh, that's how easy it is uh, easy as one two three uh, attached to the microscope attached to your phone and you're off off to the races so as you can see um, a great way to share what's happening in the lab with uh, um, people on social media uh, for your journals you can snap some nice photos uh, so um, Great way to convert a uh, relatively uh, low-tech microscope into a uh, cutting-edge uh, recorder. So here's another recording, um, courtesy of uh, a good friend and colleague, uh, Dr. Andrew Gao, who also used this uh, um, phone accessory to videotape uh, um, some uh, diagnostic slides from his um, uh, microscope. Um, just showing you how um, impressive this um, tool is here. Um, this obviously looks much different than the previous uh, normal brain. This is a meningioma. Um, and um, specifically, uh, those pink areas that we see are, are secretory granules um, or pseudosomoma bodies, as they're called, uh, that you see in a secretory uh, meningioma. So this is a an indication of a relatively indolent form of meningioma um, and so uh, this would be a good prognosis for the patient uh, again just highlighting how um, useful histology is in prognosticating patients and just how nice of a tool this is as a gift. So here's a recording of uh, cerebellar tissue stained with uh, a specific uh, type of stain called a luxulfast blue. This is a uh, hematoxin eosin stain that's supplemented with a, another dye called luxofast blue which is the blue dye that we see here and it uh, uh, intercalates with um, uh, fat or um, areas that have a heavy uh, uh, lipid bilayer um, which usually corresponds to myelinated fibers so uh, you get your h &E stain again uh, with the hematoxyl and staining your nuclei and your uh, eosin staining the um, cytoplasm um, and uh, you get your luxofast blue staining the myelin and what you can see here uh, is the um, eosinophilic molecular layer you have the nice um, Purkinje cell layer these large cells and then just underneath them is the internal uh, granular cell layer of the cerebellum so there you have it, the uh, the Goski cell phone adapter for your microscope or binoculars. Um, I hope you liked it. I think this is a really good gift idea, especially for that price. This is not a, a sponsored product, uh, but something that uh, I came across uh, um, as something that uh, uh, you know uh, every pathologist needs in their office when when uh, access to a camera or, or, or scanning a slide is not uh, immediately available. This is the next best thing to really capture. Uh, the microscopic world uh, using our own smartphone. So um, great invention, great gift and uh, I know I'm going to be enjoying it over the holidays and uh, 
um, through uh, 2020. So uh, if you're still doing some last minute shopping, consider this, uh, uh, consider this great gift.